In this tutorial, we'll look at three fundamental loudness measurements. Integrated loudness, loudness range, and maximum momentary loudness. You'll find these measurements above LCAS history plot. Each one is an overall measurement that lasts the entire duration of a program. For example, they can be used to describe an entire song, album, or soundtrack. Broadcasters set limits on these levels to ensure a consistent listening experience from program to program. What is integrated loudness? Integrated loudness describes the loudness of an entire program. You can think of it as an average loudness level that takes into account multiple audio channels, up to 5.1 surround. The measurement mimics the way a human perceives loudness. Its frequency response is based on human hearing. What are typical integrated loudness levels? In the United States, programs must have an integrated loudness level of minus 24 LUFS. In Europe, programs must be minus 23 LUFS. Some leeway is acceptable, usually plus or minus 1 or 2 LUFS. What is loudness range? Loudness range measures the difference between the loudest and quietest parts of a program. For example, a highly compressed program will have a low loudness range. The measurement ignores silence and the most extreme loudness levels of a program. This prevents the measurement from being biased by short loudness bursts. For example, a gunshot or an explosion. What are typical loudness ranges? Highly dynamic programs may have loudness ranges as high as 20 LU. What is momentary loudness? Momentary loudness is a very fast loudness measurement. It is measured over a 400 millisecond window. You can think of it as a sort of peak meter for loudness. Some broadcasters set limits on the maximum momentary level, especially for short programs like commercials. That covers the basic loudness measurements. Check out our other tutorials to see how LCAS can help you manage your loudness levels and create more consistent audio. Until next time, happy recording! <laughs>